Hi, monkeys have always been an inspiration for me. They have been part of my scenes ever since I make these kinds of paintings. But how do you paint a monkey in oil? In this case, a chimpanzee. Well, I have made carefully pictures of all stages in my workflow and put it in a sequence in this video so you can see my workflow. If you are new here to the channel, please consider subscribing and you don't want to miss any videos by clicking the bell icon. Enough chatting, let's start picking those brushes up and begin to paint. I start with a wooden panel measuring 40 by 30 centimeters. This panel is prepared with three layers of gesso and one colored layer of gesso. The underpainting is built up with acrylic paint in black and white. Colors are not important in this stage of the process, only light and dark are now important. When the underpainting is completed, it is time to start in oil paint and apply some color. As you can see, I start with the background and work forward. The other way around would be completely illogical for me. In oil, you can really blend the colors of the sky. Oil paint is very suitable for this because it dries slowly. After painting the sky, I can start working on the landscape. I opt for a surreal landscape with warm orange colors. These colors will also be reflected in the eyes of the chimpanzee. By doing this, I create a connection between foreground and background. The eyes are also the first thing I paint on the monkey's face. From here I start to paint the entire face, piece by piece. All wrinkles and bumps in the face are important to paint. This way you get the typical character of the chimpanzee. It is also important to paint the face fairly symmetrically. Use a mirror from time to time to look at your painting. This way you can check if there are any errors in the symmetry and or the composition. Now it's time for the headdress. I start with the skull and gradually work to the outside. All details and different materials make this job really tough. But the satisfaction afterwards with the end result in mind makes it worth it. For the clothes of the chimpanzee, I first paint a dark base. As soon as this layer is dry, I start with the design on the clothing. If I don't do this and the underlying layer is still wet, then the colors mix and you get impure dirty colors. Now that everything is in oil on the panel, I can start with a final layer. In some places I will apply it opaque and sometimes transparent. This so-called glazing gives a lot of depth to the monkey's face. The colors in the face of the monkey are ochre, brown, cool blue, purple, pink, black and almost white. It is certainly important to paint all these colors with all these nuances. Taking the time to study your subject properly is therefore crucial. 
I also adjust the drawing with some paint where necessary. Now that the painting is nearly finished, the dull dark spots of the oil paint stand out. This is not a problem in itself, because the dark colors reappear after the painting has been varnished. Here is the final result. All deep colors reappear after varnishing. That is always a glorious moment in the whole process of painting. I am glad that I have been able to capture the typical look of the chimpanzee in this painting. This beautiful animal is so much worthy to paint. Maybe you want to give it a try next time you want to paint or draw an animal. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. But first of all, please visit my website where you can see the latest news and paintings and you can download a free e-catalog with the most recent paintings. See you in the next one. Bye.